in this video I'm gonna show you a couple outfits that are gonna take your photos to the next level. I'm gonna show you the piece that I chose, then I'm gonna tell you why I chose that piece, why it's photogenic, how I will style it for my photo shoot, so you can not only get tips, but get inspired. Can you feel the retro vibes here? I chose this outfit for the following. When you use prints or textures in your photos, it's definitely more attractive. I don't know if you can really see this, but the patterns have some sort of lines, which really makes your legs longer. So that's definitely great to show off in photos. Also, the boots in this pants are super retro, but oh, it's not only that it's retro, it's also very flattering for any kind of body. So I thought it would be a great idea to show you how visually this could be so much more appealing in photos. My style, it's a little bit more like baggy and comfy. And when I order this sweater, but I was scared that it was gonna be a little bit too short. So when it arrived and I saw it, I'm like, this is just perfect. It's not too long, it's not too short. It kind of really goes with the full outfit that I had in mind. I added these accessories, which are very, very, very simple. I feel like if I move a little bit my hair, you can still see something happening and it doesn't really look super empty because there's a lot of space on my neck side. So that will flow better in the photo. And these shoes, which you're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of, in my next videos. I'm obsessed with that trend and honestly, it took me the longest time to get a pair. And I don't really know why. I guess I already had like other white sneakers and I was like, Bonnie, do you really need another pair of white sneakers? But I'm like, yeah, it's not the same style. But yeah, a lot of things go in my mind. It really makes a difference in a sense, like a pants like this, you kind of need chunky shoes so they open better because if you're wearing it with flats or with something that it's not as bulky i feel like you don't really appreciate the beauty of the pants hold on right there if you're getting value from this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up let's jump into the next outfit this next outfit it's a huge trend for spring I've seen it all over the internet and I'm like, I really have to try it. But I do really like that it's going with the spring colors. So a very light blue and it doesn't feel like super boring. It feels really, really trendy. One thing that I really liked about this is that it comes with a belt and it can really show your figure, especially when you're not like super slim is that you tend to think that if you wear something that is really big, it's gonna look better than if it's something that is really tight. And it could be the opposite way. It's like, it's too tight. It's, it's too tight, girl. But I feel like we really need to accentuate the things that we already have and we already love uh, in just the right size. This next look, it's completely out of my comfort zone. I would never imagine that I will be wearing something like this. It does have a lot of Kardashian vibes, but I mean, come on, it's fashion. If we don't experiment and do fun stuff, then what's really the point? It was a huge, huge surprise that I actually really like this look. I need to order it in like every color. They look good, you can like go and do stuff during the day with it and it's super comfortable, which is oddly amazing i chose these shoes which are fashion nova and also it's a little bit out of my comfort zone i kind of really like shoes that are clothes and not like showing everything and this is really the opposite of what i normally will get but i'm really happy i tried it so for example if you're wearing like black jeans and you use black shoes your legs is gonna look longer because they have the same tone and in this case because they are transparent shoes it doesn't really matter like, so the effect is like yeah my legs look longer and it does look way more elegant 
So I'm very happy that I decided to try it and like not be afraid. So with this look, you can achieve longer legs, which is amazing in photos because most of the people want like super long legs. The longer, the better. You know what I mean. I'm a good girl, I promise. Another big trend for this season is this kind of skirt. Kind of looks silky, but it's a little bit flowy. I really didn't want it to be too tight. If you pair it with something black, it can look very wintry, and if you pair it with something white, it can definitely be super summery. So I feel like it's really a piece that you can wear anytime. And this sweater, that heavy, so for spring, it's pretty nice. I do feel it gives like a little bit of vintage vibes, like I'm good, but I'm trendy. So I will definitely use it with the same pair of glasses that I used the other one. And if you don't like mini skirts, but you still wanna look young and you still wanna look fresh, I feel like this really, 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 really does the job. Okay, this might be my favorite dress. Proms are coming up and I really wanted to select at least one dress that it's long and elegant but i wanted to find something that it was you know kind of like that so there are a couple things that not only make this piece photogenic but also makes it comfy and it still makes it look elegant so the fabric again texture it's key it looks very pretty and it's at a little bit of shine without being super super shiny i mean we totally want to go all the way sometimes but in this case I think it's something kind of in the middle. When we talk about sleeves, the sleeves can be something you can really play around a lot in front of the camera. And they definitely add kind of like a vintage look, which I'm really into, obviously. Also, what I like is that it frames my body the right way because we have this cut that makes it trendy. It doesn't feel like it comes from like a different decade, which is basically a costume. It really makes it look edgy with, you know, the circle and the division. It makes it really, really now. One thing that it's very amazing is that it has a lot of movement. So if you want to add some a movement in your photos, like just go around and all this stuff can really be very fun. You can play around with your hair a lot. Like if you like the hippie vibe, you can definitely let it down. But if you want to make it look more now, you can go for halfway ponytail or just go with like a full on bun. And if you're a little crazy like I am and don't want to really be thinking during a big event, like, oh, it's my arm look okay or not. These lines make it look slimmer and you're not really showing any skin in this area and you can just relax and take your photo and just look amazing. One of the key things about choosing what's your real good piece for your photos is that you feel comfortable. Because if you feel uncomfortable or any way like, oh my god, I'm gonna show like a boob or I'm gonna show like belly or something that you don't like, you're gonna be thinking about it and your body language is just gonna show. You're gonna be like, I need to not breathe. And yeah, the results are normally not that great. If you're a model, a professional model, and you're in a photo shoot and you're really aware of your body and all this stuff, maybe you can pull off some of this stuff of not really being comfortable, but looking comfortable in front of the camera. But for regular life, it's really, really a hassle. So just try to find pieces that make you really feel comfortable and beautiful because you already are beautiful, but when you feel comfortable, you just like show it way more and way better. Okay, trying to keep this video going aside that I have somebody on my window. It is, it is very interesting. Okay, so for this look, it's really kind of classic, nothing crazy. Uh, but it's a timeless trend and to be honest i normally wear a lot of skinny jeans so i wanted to get something that it's a little bit different so these are not skinny jeans they're ripped uh, i love it uh, they're high-waisted i've been obsessed with high-waisted jeans for a long time right now i pair it with this super super simple top it's kind of transparent and and with the croc it's not croquet crochet and they were a crochet trend, which is, this is not really crochet, but like this is probably the 
give it, I'm like giving it a little bit of a step because I kind of want to try that trend but I'm like eh, let's try this first and then we go further let's see in upcoming videos if I'm like yes the high ponytail will make your photo a little bit more trendy and up to date and yes they are comfortable which is key for me because I'm very very whiny when it comes to heels I'm like oh my god I'm not comfortable or whatever and by shooting you know that comfortable it's key so yes I could definitely imagine taking some photos in a cafe or with a couple of friends or maybe just like outfit of the day this is what I did today it's not necessarily something that it's like super glam and trendy but still it can look very 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 good in photos remember that sometimes less is more I changed many many times for this video and I'm sweating I apologize I mean I don't really apologize I can't really control it so the last look <laughs> The next looks really remind me to a happy Sunday and you're gonna see why. For some reason, I feel like super young and happy with this outfit. I also was scared a little bit that the dress was too short, but I really have no issue with this dress. I pair it up and I think it's great for photos with my tanky shoes, just to make it a little bit more edgy and added some classic sunglasses just not to go too crazy on this one and it's one of those outfits that it goes with almost any location because it's white and white just goes with everything you still can look hip but girly at the same time so I feel like when we talk about photogenic this is almost like it should be almost like a classic like you need something like that also, it's very trendy right now, these super like kind of big sleeves, they still very fresh and in my case, yeah, we have like spring and all this stuff. Also, I would love to know which of these outfits were your favorite one and if you want to check them out, I also am going to leave all the information in the description box. And if you love photography and videos, don't be shy, be part of the family, you can subscribe right now completely for free and it's awesome you get information every week see you next time and don't forget you're beautiful and special